I think we're going to get a fat drop in EHEX, okay? And it's going to be similar to when we have big payday. And everyone's going to come over to PHEX. But remember, yield is where it's at. Um, the price of PHEX may be higher, but the yield will probably be higher on EHEX. So which one do you want? In the end, it'd probably be almost equal. So um, there's going to be an a opportunity to arbitrage between the two. That's the way I look at it. And as much as I love Pulse Chain, especially the fact it doesn't even exist yet, Ethereum, whether we like it or not, is still the premier layer one, right? Like it just is. Yeah, it has shitty fees, but it is the premier chain where everything's built on. Like Pulse Chain's coming here to, you know, throw its hat in the ring, but it Ethereum is still it's impressive. It's done done what a lot of other tokens couldn't do. And uh like Randy said, I'd like to keep the yield generating machine on both chains. So be careful if you want to get cheeky with your uh E hex and hex plays. Just be careful. Well, yeah. Um, uh, the the thing that, that like I had mentioned before is that I don't think that you know that like there's there's a lot of arbitrage reasons for one over the other. But that doesn't mean that like the one doesn't the one on Ethereum is not going to have any value. It still offers the same. It's the same product on both chains, just one with more fees and slightly slower and. You know, whatever. There's, I mean, they're very. You said that it's still, it's still a premier chain. And while I do think that um, eHex can take a dip, I'll be honest with you. I think that the eHex hex dip. Oh, hope for this. <laughs> I think that the eHex dip is going to be proportional, in some ways, to the run up that we see before Pulse Chain, because. Uh, in the weeks before Big Payday, we saw Hex gain 5x value in what, less than two weeks, something like that? And then proceed to lose a lot of it, you know, for sure. But like it ran up a lot, you know, and so that is going to that's going to matter a lot because a lot of what it tells me in that that those motions is that there's a lot of speculators speculating on that day and what was going to happen at that day. You know, they got in, you saw them get in, and then you saw a lot of people get out, you know? Um, what, you know, that was, that was, <laughs> you know, that, so like, so like that similar relationship's going to happen, and it really matters more, I think, the amount of, like, from the nine cent floor, or so nine and a half, 10 cent, whatever floor that we saw, you know, on up from here, there's a lot of people who have sat around through, like we've been up and down through this for a while. They had plenty of opportunity to sell, you know? So like, I don't think that it's much as much them, as, you know, that'll be speculating on the buy and sell the rumor, you know, kind of move than it will be we, what we see on the run up here. So like, I mean, I think that there, those people, there are people that are part of, that are gonna be a part of that. It'll sell that have been holding on this whole time. But I also think that it, it really matters as like a percentage basis how much we run up if we run up 5x then i can see us doing an 80 percent drop sure it's good analysis i like it i, I really like that good job man